is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. Okay, if you guys follow the channel, you know we have been doing quite a bit of discussions in regards to this baby right here, that nothing phone 2. And today's video, I want to talk to you guys about an update a lot of people were waiting on. A lot of these features were actually discussed in the keynote and now made available in nothing OS 2.0.1. I want to go over all of these changes, all of this update, and kind of walk through a lot of the stuff we were waiting on. So if you were thinking about getting this phone and you saw the reviews on how good it was at launch, now with this baby here, this update takes it to another level. I think the Glyph Composer is going to be awesome if you're a fan of all those lights for the Glyph lighting system, the stability improvements, and just the sheer extent of this list of updates and enhancements is definitely encouraging from a smaller startup. So having said all this, let's go ahead, jump right into it, go over what's new, install the update, and take a look. Here we go. Let's jump right into it and go over the boring stuff first. And as you can see here, the breakdown of the actual update itself can be seen here. So the hot fixes, it says it solved a rare issue caused by causing volume levels to be lower than intended when between apps and adjust the image brightness for photos captured under low light. The new features are the Glyph Composer that we talked about. They introduced Glyph Process, excuse me, Progress for Uber. Check the progress of an incoming Uber ride with the Glyph interface. This feature is currently in an experimental phase, so you may experience some inconsistencies. You do have widgets now that can be added to the lock screen, which I'm super excited about. You actually do have quick settings widgets that you can add your most used quick settings tiles directly to your home or lock screens. They reworked popular nothing machine ringtones and notifications from phone one, adjusted to match the new segmented design of phone two four new wallpapers, and a one-handed mode. There is also some updates to the camera. Portrait mode now supports 2x zoom. Could you try again? And Siri still as terrible as usual. We have motion capture 2.0. It's now supported in 50 megapixel mode. They introduced a brand new nothing style photo watermark. Optimized the HDR effect efficientness across the board. Optimized photo clarity when shooting between 4x and 10x zooms. Improved camera quality when used in third-party apps. Reduced lag and optimized stabilization algorithm when shooting videos. And then other improvements here. Improved battery and charging performance in extreme temperature conditions. Improved the consistency of wireless charging and battery share. Improved face unlock and fingerprint sensor performance. That's something I was critical of on my initial hands-on and walkthrough. Aside from the fingerprint sensor being way too low at the bottom, I did feel that it was a little slower than what uh, other competitors are offering. You obviously do have now regulated system sound volume across the board, optimized essential notification and other glyph interface logics, and a couple of bug fixes. They resolved quick setting expansion issue, improved network stability, resolved NSC related issues, and more general bug fixes. And as you can see here, the update comes in a little over 200 megabytes. So we're going to go ahead and get this baby installed. We know how these updates work. Let's go ahead and get this done and we'll be right back. So you can see here the system update was successful and one thing you're going to notice when you complete this there is a nothing agreement here uh, that has been updated as well. But jumping right into all the fun stuff if you go into settings now glyph interface you will see your new option for that glyph composer. When you select this you'll be greeted to install the new app that is not part of the OS, which is actually a nice touch because now they can push out updates quicker than what you normally would otherwise. So here we go, Glyph Composer. Now it's your turn to create your own Glyph sequences and use them as ringtones. And you can see you have five buttons to control each piece of all the segmented user interfaces. So you can literally click and choose as you want. It doesn't show you live time in the back, just on this display. And when you're ready to begin, you would press this red button to trigger the recording. You can go from modem to Weevil, 606, Burr, and Dan. We'll leave it with modem, and then we'll start recording. And once you do, you have 10 different segments you can begin with. So. So you can see 10 different seconds, and that is it. 
and now you can play back. So definitely not keeping that, that's pretty terrible, but you get the idea. You can kind of have some fun and play with this, have it all ring one section or another or a combination of all the above. Moving on from the Glyph Composer and all that, in settings, now if you go to lock screen, you can see we have that new lock screen widgets shortcut. So you can add a number of different widgets here. Let's go ahead and select, let's use the weather one. So we'll add this one. Let's add torch. Um, yeah, we'll leave it at torch. If you wanted to add something different, you could still do it as a shortcut. And let's give us a nice digital clock as well. So there's not enough space. Let's use this one. So now, when you actually lock your device, look at that. Actual lock screen widgets. And, of course, if you go ahead and tap and activate your display, they're actionable. So, as you would anticipate, you can do everything you could traditionally right from the widget. I definitely think this is an awesome touch and something I think should be implemented for every manufacturer around. Um, beyond that, obviously, if you long press and you're not logged in, obviously, you'll have to use your shortcut to take you right to that next page. One of the fixes in this build was supposed to be an improved fingerprint scanner as well. And as you can see here, it is working a little better and reliably. So, yeah. What I can tell you too, just from actually briefly using this update, uh, everything is even smoother than it was before. 2.0.1 is definitely a nice, steady improvement. So, yeah, aside from what I showed you here, are you guys liking your Nothing Phone 2? Let us know in the comments down below. If you want to see further videos on this in regards to the camera samples and all that, the camera was also improved a little bit in this build, let us know. We're happy to do a video on that for you guys as well. But for now, we'll keep this one short and sweet. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.